Welcome to the 28th section of the course OS Persistent with C++ and Qt. My name is Carlos and now we're going to continue with the implementation of, of Inference Kernel. This is the third video about the Inference Kernel. And I'm going to focus to just a function that is called Infer. What infer does is set implicit value among rules. You might like to go backwards and see the videos of modus ponens and tollens because we're going to use these rules in this function. Okay. Despite that I'm going to do a quick review of what it means modus ponens and modus tollens. So first point, the inference is from consequence to antecedents or from antecedents to consequence. In a rule the antecedent is the left part of the implication operation and the consequence are the is the right part of the implication operation. So for example, A is antecedent and B is consequent. Mm. Okay. Great. So it's just a quick explanation of what is modus tollens and modus ponens. If we have this rule, it's called um cube and a cube infers or pass value from the antecedents to the consequence all the antecedents needs need to be one to make that the consequence will be one also in this case a b c should be one and the antecedent as a whole has a value of one. Then we can pass by modus ponens this this value to the consequence and make it one. Okay. For modus tollens is the opposite. If we have that G, F, and D are zero, then the consequence as a whole is zero and implies by modus tollens that the antecedents and all the atoms of that antecedent will be zero also. Okay? So that was modus ponens and modus tollens. And I think that the first thing that I'm going to do is to get a node from the en tree entry. So it's prop node. Mm. I want to use our object of the tree builder. is a container and look um, where the entry point then I also will make a flag to determine whether it's 
modus tollens or not. Next step is to to know if we have a high level consequent. Um, what I mean with high level consequent is okay this is the hole and I also call it high level consequence which contains all the consequences of the rules and the point in the tree point of view is that we have every node here has a value called entry in the tree so for example we have G here H and they are connected by a OR operator Okay. After connecting this, we are going to connect the F with the last OR operation. Then this last OR operation is the one who is the high level consequence in this case you can see in this diagram is the high level atom therefore we wanted to see if our high level node or atom is consequent PWS and consequence value contains This is for the modus ponens. I'm sorry, modus tollens. We set the flag to true. And also, we're going to insert zeros to the antecedents value. It's the same for the antecedents. So in this case, we're going to in 
this case we don't have to set any flag as You might notice that from antecedence to consequence it's 1 and from consequence to antecedence it's 0. That's true of modus ponens and tollens. And the last step, we don't need this, is to propagate these values to the inner nodes. T and we're going to do that by using the propagate function the antecedent of the entry this compile just to sure that there is no compilations errors uh, that's everything for this video I would like to do unit testing but I think that I'm going to do it in the end of at least of the inference engine to check all our codes if everything is okay so see you to the next week hope you enjoy it um, Please visit our social media channels and bye bye.